So while Bengaluru is seeing this surge in coronavirus cases and it sparked a lot of worry, the chief minister this weekend led a Bhumi Puja for a 108 feet tall statue of Kempe Gauda uh, that is proposed at the airport. It's a 78 crore project. Now this drew sharp responses and we, we're now joined by Revati Ashok, uh, CEO and Managing Trustee at BPAC, uh, B, BPAC, which is a citizens organization for Bengaluru and she's also uh, someone who is uh, a consultant and has run uh, many businesses. Uh, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Tell us why your sharp reaction. Explain to us what you felt when you saw this news of the Chief Minister leading this Bhumi Puja for this massive statue. Uh, yeah, I think uh, it was really uh, appalling that at a time when uh, the whole state is reeling and the city is reeling with cases, uh, we go around uh, insensitively uh, installing statues. Uh, we have seen what has happened to migrant labor uh, across the st state and the city. We have seen people going out of jobs. Every So many people are losing their jobs. Uh, they, there is so much uncertainty. And instead of, uh, you know, sending the right messages, uh, we are going around uh, erecting statues, which, uh, which really, uh, you know, it... Uh, it is unbelievable that we are doing this at this time. What what kind of a message does it send to people? You know, the, just the other day, I got a message from someone saying that uh, uh, they took their relative to uh, the hospital because uh, for dialysis. And having taken the person for dialysis, he contracted uh, COVID and just passed away uh, in a very, very short while. And these are the kinds of situations we are facing. So I think every resource that we have should be put to productive purposes. So it's either for the immediate short term for fighting COVID or for the medium term to bring back a lot of the uh, migrant workers who have gone, bring them back and assure them safety and assure them cleanliness, hygiene and food. And the third is to have a longer sustainable plan for the city. Now, if you're able to do these kinds of things, uh, I'm right. not opposing to the celebration of uh, Kempe Gauda, but Kempe Gauda surely would have appreciated that kind of an effort in his memory. Right, now if I can read out the tweet, your tweet as a reaction to this news, you said, is this the priority for the city now? It's a very sad reflection. Thousands are jobless without food, shelter, many dying. Uh, you know, we could put aside this money to reimagine re a more sustainable city. No words to describe how it feels. Why do you think we have this obsession with statues? And, and every time there's this proposal for one of these big statue projects, so, you know, a lot of us speak out against it, against it and ask, can't these funds be used better? But now we're in the midst of a pandemic when we've really felt how, uh, you know, lacking we are in terms of our health care. And that really, I think for everyone has been uh, a shock. And also, uh, it, it's something that should inspire us to now put everything we have into improving India's health care. And still we have m money being diverted for these uh, sort of projects, this massive statue, 78 crores going in for that. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I felt so perturbed when I saw that in the newspaper in the morning. I said, I, you know, this is this is the worst thing, that worst signal that we can governments can give. If we had said that we are laying the foundation stone for uh, a 10,000 bed hospital or something like that, or uh, I'm uh, having a plan for a long term sustainability plan for the city or something like that uh, in memory of Kempe Gorda, I would have really welcomed that. And I think the city would have welcomed that. So I, I think it's important to celebrate uh, uh, people uh, uh, and their history. But I think there is a moment and that there is a way of celebrating that. And uh, that is important. Right, ma'am, and your organization also works in Bengaluru. You've worked on a lot of issues, uh, the Bangalore uh, Political Action Committee, and you work with the government as well. Is there any way that, you know, you'll try and get your message across? Yeah, de definitely. We are always sending messages. We are raising issues with them all the time. Um, uh, this this one, I think, is particularly unfortunate. And we really wish that they have, uh, the government has done a, a lot of good things. Uh, and I, we must appreciate and acknowledge their efforts during COVID. But I think this is not one of the most sensible things that have been done.
Absolutely. And this news coming on a day that uh, you've also seen the uh, highest spike in cases in Bengaluru. Thank you so much, Revati Ashok, for speaking to NDTV.